Hi, I'm Shad from Cycle Store. Uh, we're going to just run through how to set your suspension sag up on a full suspension bike. Just going to do a basic shock setup, set the sag up, set the rebound, talk through the compression settings. You need a high pressure shock pump that's going to work with your particular fork and shock. It generally cost £25 to £35, something like that. We need to see what's in there already. So remove the little valve caps, careful not to lose them. Um, it's nice and easy on a bike with a dropper post to set the side because you can put the seat post out of the way. Sit on the bike, using the little o-ring, see where it sags to, put all your weight on the bike, carefully jump off. Look at where we're sagging to on this, that's sagging almost, almost 50% so you probably aim for more like 30% as a, as a starting point, so attach the pump. Just until you get a reading on the gauge, so there's, yeah, there's only 140 psi in there. I guess we need to 160 or so. Maybe a little bit more. You also need to make sure when you sag the bike like I just did, that the, if there's a compression adjuster, Make sure that's fully open. If you, if you lock the bike out, you won't get a fair sag reading. So I'll put about 170 in there. Move the o ring back up, sit back on the bike. It's more like here, that's, that's round about 30%. It's a good starting point. I'd, I'd then go and ride it. Depends where, where you ride as well. Obviously, some, some places you might want more or less pressure. The fork actually gives you a guide on these, so you can use, you can use the sag like we just did, but we also give you guides. So for my weight, it would recommend 72 to 82 PSI. So you seem a little soft at the minute. Again, attach your pump. There's probably 50 in there, so increase that to 75 maybe, and it's in the middle of the suggested range. Again, make sure the fork isn't locked out. This, this one's got a pressure adjuster there so make sure that's fully open before you test the sag. It's just over 70 there so again we'd go and ride it and check how it feels but as a starting point that should do the trick. And just remember to refit your caps to keep any dirt out. Most forks and shocks will have a rebound adjuster um, on these Fox it's the little red dial on the left hand side of the shock and on the right hand side of the fork. If you're unsure on those, I would count how many clicks there are, set them halfway, then you can, you can move either way from there as you ride the bike. Thanks very much.